we're leaving Elephant Mountain WMA and I wanted to show you the RV going through that spot on the Jeep. I watched the video last night and it didn't look all that bad with the Jeep. Well, it's not really bad with the Jeep. But an RV, different story. There's holes on both sides of this thing so you've got to come out wide to the right and then swing tight and go right into this tree. Right like this. And get a little bit of rub on the tree and then down and back up. Like I said, not horrible. We are going to drag as we go back out. A little bit of gas there. And that's the worst spot getting in here. I want to believe. Yep, we're at the Marfa Mystery Lights. According to this, some of the first uh, reported spottings of these lights was 1883. So now, it's not cars. Another one of the plaques talking about geologic features. Choo choo trains. They've got quite the setup here for viewing the lights. This is just outside of Marfa, Texas. Our viewers tend to gather. There's a long spot over there for four or five big rigs. And there's some spots over here too. Uh, there's a little walking trail and uh, little interesting facts on plaques all around the place. Choo-choo trains. This is the viewing side of the Marfa Lights viewing center. I kind of want to point this out. Now, you can see my RV way down there in the end. Notice that the fifth wheel, the other Class A, and the little camper van all pulled in over here after we did. We were the first ones here, just parked. Everybody parked right next to us, and it went right in that order that with the, us, the fifth wheel, the Class A, and then the camper van. And over here, Nothing. <laughs> so, magnetic personality? I think so. Choo choo trains. Sunrise over the mountains at Marfa Mystery Lights. We uh, stayed up pretty late last night, had the uh, chairs sitting out by the RV. Yes, you can see lights out here. I was thinking they were going to be like balls of light or something like that. You can see balls of light off in the distance, which is the highway heading south of Marfa. But uh, if you look long enough, you will see ribbons of light. Wider than lightning, they appear to go from the ground to the sky. Real dim, real far off. Definitely worth stopping. Sorry about the wind and road noise, but I wanted to come out here and show you all the RVs. Uh, you probably can't see them real well, but over on the far side is quite a few actual vehicles. And then the two empty spots over here by the camper van and the uh, bus with the trailer actually had cars and an RV in it last night. They must have left really early. Beautiful sunrise here. Leaving the Morpha Mystery Lights Viewing Center. Head on down the road and see what else we can find. Although i got to admit, the view here today is kind of cool with the clouds coming over the mountains. This goes to show how tall the mountains are here. We stopped at another Texas roadside park. This one is called Point of Rocks. And they've got some really interesting stuff. We're going to go check it out. Some really big rocks here. Sorry about the wind. I ended up climbing up the rocks a little bit. You can see the uh, picnic area. We're parked over there on the far side. And you can see forever up here. Going any higher? No. 
this is how they've got their little picnic areas here. They're just kind of like up in the rocks. Black says, dedicated memory of Ed, John, and August, and all other stage drivers who traveled this road. Fearless heroes of the frontier days, by their courage, the West was made. And it was placed here in... I can't see the date from here. <laughs> Let me put the camera up there so you can see it. So this is walking up to another one of the little picnic areas. I don't trip over all the rocks. Nice little area. Around things were, I'm thinking they were some kind of a cooking thing. They've got them all sealed up now. These trees grow around these rocks. That's really impressive. Grow anywhere, do anything. Really nice tree, too. So, last little look at. Uh, Point of Rocks. We stayed here last night. Super quiet. Really nice. Uh, as you can see behind me, it's pretty scenic. I got uh, something to show you with the jacks. If you're going to stay here, bring a lot of leveling blocks or have hydraulic jacks. These are at their max, but they got us to level. Here, look at this. That's quite a bit. All right, we're getting ready to leave Point of Rocks. We're still on the jacks. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we drop the jacks. So, here we go. And goodbye to the Point of Rocks. Good overnight stay. When leaving Point of Rocks, we decided to continue down 166 and then take this little backcountry road back down to 90. And I gotta say, if you go in this way, you should definitely take this road. Very scenic, very cool. A little skinny, as you can tell, kind of driving down the middle of the road. Doesn't appear to be a lot of traffic. Really beautiful. Turning back on to 90, heading towards I-10, and then probably to El Paso. Not many of those. Oh, oh, ow, oh, ow. tumbleweed, ah! <laughs> we found a tumbleweed crossing area. Or a tumbleweed murder area, they're all destroyed. Another Texas picnic area. Sorry about the wind. What a view, huh? More of these round things. All concreted up. I think it was for cooking. It built the fire down there. Maybe it had a steel plate or a grid or something on top of it? That would have been neat. <laughs> okay, the most decorative uh, roadside picnic area that we've seen yet. Oh, the RVs are out there. Yeah, I should have parked out there. Wind warning ahead. In 800 feet, take the freeway entrance on I-10 West. Well, we're not staying that long. <laughs> Check out this RV. That's pretty neat. 500 feet. Take the freeway entrance on I-10 West. We gotta get out and look at them. I'm going to.
Alright, it's really windy, but we had to stop and look at the TPs. It's really windy and cold. You know, it doesn't look like it. Trust me, it's cold.